I dreamed of inviting my pretty neighbor over to my place. But I was embarrassed by it. I didn't clean my house for 10 years, which was why it turned into a town. However, she unexpectedly showed up with a clip on her nose and a stranger. As it turned out, she called a sanitary inspection because she was tired of the constant stink coming from my house. The stranger walked in while I slayed back with Greta to introduce myself and shake your hand. Are you kidding me? I don't have enough sanitizer for that. She left, and the sanitary inspector gave me a week to clean my place, mm -hmm. or I would be evicted. After the verdict, I was offended and mad at Greta. I didn't have the energy to clean it before. How was I supposed to get it now? Get up! Mm -hmm. You only have a week. I can't breathe anymore. And I only had enough strength to turn over to the other side and go back to sleep. That night, I woke up to a strange smell. I got up, opened the window, and saw smoke. It was coming from Greta's house. At that moment, I felt something I hadn't felt for a very long time. Determination. So I snuck into my neighbor's apartment. Greta was lying unconscious in her bedroom surrounded by flames and black smoke. Trying not to inhale any, I took Greta in my arms and taking cover from the flames, took her outside. Firefighters and an ambulance soon arrived and they managed to extinguish the fire. They also discovered what caused the fire. The incense sticks that Greta had lit to escape the stench coming from my place. To my surprise, she spoke to me and thanked me for rescuing her. She also asked about something that was confusing her. You were given a week to clean your house, and you didn't do anything about it. But when you smelled the smoke, you were the first one from the neighbors to come and save me. Why? I felt like I knew the answer to that. The most important thing for a man is to feel needed. Which is why we get out of bed every morning. My life had been meaningless for several years. I told Greta that I used to be a family man. I had friends, business, hobbies. But it all came to an end when my wife cheated on me. She left, taking my business with her. My reason to get up in the morning. To take care of myself and the house. Granny listened to me attentively and held my hand. <gasps> A few days later, after Granny was discharged from the clinic, I met her with flowers and a new look. She didn't recognize me at first, but when she realized that it was me, she complimented me. I offered her to stay at my place while I repaired hers. Huh? Give me a chance, I owe you. If it wasn't for the stench, there wouldn't be a fire. 
in the end, Greta agreed. Great. And when I brought her to my house, she couldn't believe her eyes. Because I had. I cleaned every inch of it. Just so she wouldn't be comfortable staying there. Greta accepted my offer mm. and never regretted it. After all, she ended up with a husband who was ready to do anything for her. While I got a wife who brought meaning back into my life. My father wanted me to marry an old billionaire. I refuse! You can't! It's been arranged since you were in diapers! Well, I'd rather drown myself. Of course, I only pretended to jump out. Find her and bring her back, now! I snuck into the furthest cabin, where I stumbled upon a disgusting mechanic. Hide me, please. It's a matter of life and death. He was in no hurry to help. Take these earrings. They're expensive and were a gift from my father. That still wasn't enough for the greedy man. Is there anyone in here? Open up! Feeling trapped, I gave him both my bracelet and necklace. Hmm. Then, the mechanic ordered me to... Untrust. <gasps> Seriously? Even flies don't go near you. You absolutely stink. Relax, princess. I'm not interested in spoiled girls. <gasps> Quickly change into it and hide your hair. Hmm? Fine. A turnaround first. Once the makeover was done, the man threw my clothes overboard. <gasps> Do you know how much the dress cost? <laughs> I have a guess. If you want, I can ask your daddy. He's about to break in. At that moment, the mechanic opened the door. Why aren't you looking for the girl like everyone else? And what with this look? What kind of example are you setting as a sailor? I'm going now. <gasps> I finally breathed a sigh of relief. My own father didn't recognize me in that outfit. I wasn't going to give up my jewelry to some slacker. However, when I opened his closet, I was stunned. Oops. Hmm. A very smart yet poor mechanic. Everyone believes you drone. I'll help you get out tomorrow morning. The man sat down to eat and chewed quite loudly. What? You're not even going to share? I thought you wouldn't eat this. You probably used to lobster and stuff. Brute gave me his spoon after wiping it on his greasy clothes. 
Nevertheless, that was touching in some way. When it was time to go to bed, it became clear that only one of us would fit in it. I got comfortable on the floor and was already falling asleep when I saw a rat! Hmm? What? I'm not as disgusting to you anymore, princess. Fine. I'll make your life easier. Meanwhile, my dress was found on the deck. Search for my daughter in the cabins. She's still here. I woke up when the mechanic threw the jewelry at me. Huh? Put that on. I can't hide it. They will search every inch of this place. If you can't hide the jewelry, how will you hide me? I have an idea. The man carefully put a life jacket on me. And I almost felt like I was in a scene from Titanic. Suddenly, the rude side of him woke up once more. Ugh. What? They don't write about this style in your fashion magazines? Very witty. Do you also judge your books by their covers? <laughs> the mechanic decided to release the lifeboat with me in it to keep me sheltered. She's somewhere what? here! However, he couldn't untangle the rope, no matter how hard he tried. What? They don't write about sailing knots in your pretentious books? I took matters into my own hands and got hurt. Ouch! Why are you so impatient? Let me help you. The man gently began bandaging me. I felt the warmth of his touch. And when he looked up, our eyes met. The moment was ruined by my father. There you are, ungrateful girl! Grab her! I got lost by my dad, who told me to wait until I was brought a clean dress. No more tricks! This marriage will give us countless new opportunities. But I... I fell in love with someone else, Dad. Despite my persuasion attempts, he remained inexorable and forcibly led me to the altar. I want to marry the person I love, just like you did with mom. Yes, I loved your mother. And where is our marriage now? It will groan on you. Look how handsome he is. This time, it wasn't an old man waiting at the altar, but a young and attractive mechanic. Is this some kind of a joke? Where's that dinosaur who was chasing me? My confused father just tuned here yesterday. Poor thing, he had no idea how to tell your dad that I ran away. As it turned out, the guy knew about our parents' agreement, yet he didn't want to share a life with me. Despite his wealth, my fiancé lived modestly. He even occupied the simplest cabin on his own yacht. Before the wedding, he quickly uh. scrolled through my social media and decided I was just a shallow girl who basked in glamour. Do you still believe that? I think I owe you an apology for drawing conclusions without even knowing you. The mechanic held out his hand 
and I took it. After all, I knew in that instant who I was marrying. Marriage is a union of hearts, not wallets.